Windows 11, virtualization, VMware, Linux Kali. Have you had trouble with that? You know, I since I updated to Windows 11, you know, this is my home screen you're seeing. I have a lot of games installed and stuff like that and other things, you know. But then one day I decided to install VMware Workstation on Windows 11. And it's been working quite quite good on Windows 10 for a very long time. And recently I installed Windows 11 and I just couldn't start any of the virtual machines that are downloaded directly from Linux Kali, uh, the official website where I could download virtual images. So I started to research a bit and it's a common problem with Windows 11 that there's some issues. So I think I found a fix. You know, I'm having a recently installed Windows machine. I'm gonna press Control Delete for you guys so you can see that on performance we do have virtualization enabled, which is, I assume that is something you need to do. Um, yeah, I bought a new computer. You can see 12th generation i7. So it's the newest stuff, newest in the line. So it has nothing to do with CPUs or anything. What you're basically gonna do is, the thing that I found out is you're gonna pr press the Windows key or print this button and write ISO um, memory isolation, or just memory ISO, I think it is. And let me just see if I got the right, I did not get it. I think you need core isolation, there we have it. So I've got my core isolation in the start bar. It will open up this security stuff. And I know it might seem like a scary thing, but core isolation is a memory integrity protection uh, mechanism on Windows 11 prevents attacks from inserting malicious code into high security processes. Now, I needed to turn it off, so I did that. It will require you to reboot your computer. And the last thing you have to do in order to get speed back and also just be able to start your virtual machines, this is a fix, is to go ahead and write cmd command Get, get a command prompt, right click on it, run it as administrator, press yes. And inside the window, you need to fire off this command here. So no worries, I'm gonna post the commands and the things you're gonna do in the description. And I hope it will help you to run your virtual machines on Windows 11. This is the fix that I found. I think it's gonna be a seven out of 10. It's gonna work for, I hope it's a 10 out of 10. This is what I did, and I just verified that I could start my Linux. This is actually a 32-bit, but you know, I was testing different versions of VMware installations. I um, also have my ISO installations as a Debian installation because I think Linux Kali is actually based on Debian anyways. Um, this is how you speed it up. I hope you get it to work. Leave a comment below if you have any issues. And if you found other fixes or other ways to, to further fix your laggy, slow VMware installation on Windows 11, share it so we all can benefit from it.